How many times can a man ejaculate in a row? It's not just about stamina or willpower. The answer lies hidden in the intricate dance of hormones, neurons, and glands within our bodies. Today, we're diving deep into the science behind this biological puzzle and uncovering the surprising limits of male sexuality. Let's start with the first ejaculation. Picture a finely tuned biological machine, primed and ready. The prostate, seminal vesicles, and other glands are fully loaded. When orgasm hits, it's a physiological fireworks display. Powerful muscle contractions, maximum semen volume, and peak performance all around. But then the body slams on the brakes. It's as if a giant neurochemical switch is flipped. Dopamine plummets while prolactin, a hormone that suppresses sexual arousal, floods the system. This creates the refractory period, a time when arousal is biologically impossible. The length of this refractory period varies dramatically. For a teenager, it might be mere minutes. For an older adult, it could stretch into hours. If our hypothetical man overcomes the refractory period, round two is different. The glands are no longer at full capacity. It's like squeezing a half-empty tube of toothpaste. Pushing for a third or fourth ejaculation, the body shows signs of fatigue. It's akin to a smartphone battery dropping into low power mode. Muscles tire, glands run dry, and some men might experience discomfort. While rare reports exist of men achieving five or more ejaculations in rapid succession, for most, the biological limit hovers around three or four. These limits aren't arbitrary. They're nature's safeguards, protecting our reproductive and neurological health. It's a testament to the complex biological symphony governing even our most primal functions.